Hello, welcome to my channel. Subscribe or like if you like it. Today we will explain the medicine sildenafil, we will talk about its side effects, dosage, uses, contraindications, pregnancy, lactation, interactions, precautions and warnings. What is sildenafil and what is it for? Sildenafil is a drug used for the treatment of erectile dysfunction and for the treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension. Mechanism of Action of Sildenafil Potent and selective inhibitor of phosphodiesterase type 5, BDE5, specific to cyclic guanosine monophosphate, CGMP, of the corpora cavernosa, where PDE5 is responsible for the degradation of CGMP. Therapeutic Indications of Sildenafil Oral Route Erectile Dysfunction Treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension classified as functional grade 2 and 4 of the WHO, it has been shown to be effective in primary pulmonary hypertension and pulmonary hypertension associated with connective tissue disease. Treatment of children from 1 to 17 years of age with pulmonary arterial hypertension, proven efficacy in terms of improvement of exercise capacity or pulmonary hemodynamics in primary pulmonary hypertension and pulmonary hypertension associated with congenital heart disease. Intravenous, treatment of adult patients, over 18 years old, with pulmonary arterial hypertension who temporarily cannot receive oral therapy but who are clinically and hemodynamically stable. Pathology of sildenafil. Oral. Adults and elderly. Erectile dysfunction. Solid forms, initial dose 50 mg taken on demand one hour before sexual activity, without food. Based on efficacy and tolerance, increase to 100 mg or decrease to 25 mg, maximum dose 100 mg once a day. Sexual stimulation is required. Severe renal failure or liver failure, 25 mg, according to efficacy and tolerance, can be increased to 50 mg and 100 mg. Liquid forms, 2 ml, 4 pulses, equivalent to 50 mg of sildenafil taken on demand, approximately 1 hour before sexual activity. Based on efficacy and tolerability, the dose can be increased to 4 ml, 8 pulses, equivalent to 100 mg, or decreased to 1 ml, 2 pulses, equivalent to 25 mg of sildenafil. The maximum recommended dose is 4 ml, 8 pulses, equivalent to 100 mg of sildenafil. The maximum recommended dosage is once a day. Severe renal failure, a dose of 25 mg. Two sprays should be considered for these patients. Based on efficacy and tolerability, the dose can be gradually increased to 50 mg. Treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension as WHO functional grade 2 and 3, 20 mg for 3 times a day at 6 to 8 hour intervals, with or without food. Severe renal failure or liver failure or concomitants with CYP3A4 inhibitors, erythromycin or sequinavir. 20 mg for 2 times a day, after evaluating risk benefit. In case of CYP3A4 inhibitors, chlorithromycin, telethromycin, and nefazidone, 20 mg for 1 time daily. Oral. Children from 1 to 17 years old. Pulmonary arterial hypertension, patients weighing less than 20 kg, 10 mg, 1 ml of prepared suspension, 3 times a day. Patients weighing more than 20 kg, 20 mg, 2 ml of prepared suspension or one tablet, 3 times a day. Do not use doses higher than those recommended. Intravenous Adults Treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension, 10 mg, 12.5 ml, 3 times a day by intravenous bolus injection. Severe renal failure or liver failure or concomitants with CYP3A4 inhibitors, erythromycin or sequinavir, 10 mg, 12.5 ml, twice daily, after evaluating risk benefit. In case of CYP3A4 inhibitors, chlorithromycin, telethromycin and nefazidone, 10 mg once a day. Mode of administration of sildenafil. Oral route. Solid forms. A. Erectile dysfunction, administer with or without food. However, 
you may notice that it takes a little longer to take effect if ingested with a large meal. The intake of alcohol may temporarily hinder the ability to obtain an erection. B. Pulmonary arterial hypertension, administer with or without food. Liquid forms, erectile dysfunction, in no case should the suspension be administered through other routes. It is recommended that it be taken on an empty stomach, since absorption may be delayed when taken with food. Before the first administration it is necessary to make three pulsations discarding its content to prime the dosing pump. A lower dose can be administered without priming the dosing pump when it is first used. Sildenafil Contraindications Hypersensitivity to sildenafil, concomitant use with nitrates or nitric oxide donors, severe cardiovascular dysfunction, unstable angina or severe heart failure, severe liver failure, hypotension. Recent history of stroke or AMI, retinitis pigmentosa, combination with potent type 3A4 inhibitors, ketoconazole, itraconazole, ritonavir. Patients who present with vision loss from prior non arteritic ischemic optic neuropathy, regardless of whether or not this episode was associated with prior exposure to a PDE5 inhibitor. Co administration of PDE5 inhibitors, including sildenafil, with guanylate cyclist stimulators such as riosequat, is contraindicated as it may potentially produce symptomatic hypotension. Warnings and precautions with sildenafil Severe kidney failure, mild liver failure, anatomical deformities of the penis, angulation, cavernous fibrosis or Peyronie's disease, or with a predisposition to priapism, sickle cell anemia, multiple myeloma or leukemia, Cases of prolonged erection and priapism have been reported with sildenafil during the post-marketing experience. If the erection persists for more than 4 hours, the patient should immediately seek medical attention. If the priapism is not treated immediately, damage to the penile tissue and a permanent loss of power may occur. Bleeding disorders or active peptic ulcer. Consider cardiovascular status, due to cardiac risk associated with sexual activity. Not recommended in combination with alpha blockers or other treatments for erectile dysfunction. Discontinue if sudden visual disturbance occurs. Not recommended for children and those under 18 years of age. In pulmonary arterial hypertension, there may be an increased risk of bleeding in patients on vitamin K antagonist therapy, and gradual dose reduction is recommended if treatment is discontinued. Caution should be used in conjunction with other pulmonary arterial hypertension therapy, Bosentan, Aliprost. It should not be used in patients with pulmonary arterial hypertension secondary to sickle cell anemia. The efficacy of sildenafil in patients already on Bosentan therapy has not been conclusively demonstrated. The safety and efficacy of sildenafil in patients with PAW when administered in combination with other PDE5 inhibitor drugs has not been studied, and therefore its concomitant use is not recommended. Intravenous, not recommended for hemodynamically unstable patients, not indicated for children under 18 years of age. Liver failure and sildenafil. Contraindicated in severe liver failure. Caution in mild hepatic insufficiency in erectile dysfunction, reduce initial dose to 25 mg, on a tolerance basis, increase dose to 50 mg and 100 mg. Caution in hepatic insufficiency in pulmonary arterial hypertension, does not require dose adjustment, only if not well tolerated, adjust dose, oral, 20 mg twice daily, and dose, intravenous, 10 mg twice daily. After evaluating risk benefit, renal failure and sildenafil. Caution in severe renal insufficiency in erectile dysfunction, solid forms, initial dose at 25 mg, on a tolerance basis, increase dose to 50 mg and 100 mg. Liquid forms, a dose of 25 mg, two sprays, should be considered for these patients. Based on efficacy and tolerability. The dose can be gradually increased to 50 mg. Caution in severe renal failure and pulmonary arterial hypertension. Initial dose, oral, 20 mg twice daily, after evaluating risk benefit. Initial dose, intravenous, 10 mg twice daily, after evaluating risk benefit. Sildenafil interactions. Inhibited effect with, 
potent inducers of CYP3A4, such as carbamazepine, phenytoin, phenobarbital, St. John's wort and rifampicin. Action and toxicity enhanced with, with CYP3A4 inhibitors, such as ketoconazole, erythromycin, cimetidine, grapefruit juice. Toxicity enhanced by, HIV protease inhibitors. Enhances the hypotensive effects of, nitrates, riosiquat. Therefore, its concomitant administration is contraindicated. Enhancement of toxicity with, alpha blockers. The joint administration of PDE5 inhibitors, including sildenafil, with guanylate cyclus stimulators, such as riosiquat, is contraindicated as it can potentially produce symptomatic hypotension. The safety and efficacy of sildenafil association with other PDE5 inhibitors, other treatments for pulmonary arterial hypertension, PAH, containing sildenafil, or other treatments for erectile dysfunction have not been studied. Therefore, the use of such associations is not recommended. Pregnancy and sildenafil There are no data on the use of sildenafil in pregnant women. Animal studies do not indicate any direct or indirect harmful effects regarding pregnancy and fetal embryonic development. Animal studies have revealed toxicity with respect to postnatal development. Due to lack of data, sildenafil should not be used in pregnant women unless strictly necessary. Breastfeeding and sildenafil There are no adequate or well-controlled studies in lactating women. Data from one breastfeeding woman indicate that sildenafil and its active metabolite n methylsildenafil are excreted in breast milk at very low levels. Clinical data on adverse effects in infants are not available, but the amounts ingested are not expected to cause adverse effects. The clinicians should carefully evaluate the mother's clinical need for sildenafil and any possible adverse effects on the infant. Effects on the ability to drive with sildenafil Dizziness and visual impairment have been reported in clinical trials with sildenafil, therefore, patients should know how it may affect them before driving or using machines. Side effects and adverse reactions of sildenafil Cellulite, flu, bronchitis, rhinitis gastroenteritis, sinusitis, anemia, fluid retention, insomnia, anxiety, headache, migraine, tremor, paresthesia, burning sensation, hypesthesia, retinal bleeding, eye disorders, blurred vision, photophobia, chromatopsia, cyanopsia, eye irritation, eye hyperemia, vertigo, flushing, bronchitis, epistaxis, cough, nasal congestion, Diarrhea, dyspepsia, gastritis, gastroesophageal reflux disease, hemorrhoids, abdominal distension, dry mouth, alopecia, erythema, night sweats, pain in extremities, myalgia, back pain, pyrexia, 